These villagers, always losing their items. You're walking around enjoying the lovely weather, and BAM! Someone's personal journal is just sitting on the ground, waiting to be opened and read. But this is Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing doesn't let you break into the minds of villagers. You're too nice of a person. This game only lets you return the items instead of learning some secrets about your neighbors, or keep their personal property forever and put it on display for the world to see. As you're running around your island, one of these lost items may catch your eye. Are they worth your time and effort to pick up? Lost items are a returning mechanic from New Leaf. In the previous installment, once you found a lost item, you were tasked with finding the correct neighbor to return it to. The problem with New Leaf, you had no idea who in the world to return it to. It was kind of a trial and error of finding who the item belonged to. Thankfully, New Horizons has improved on this quest a bit. Lost items can be found chilling on the ground anywhere on your island. I'm not sure exactly the chances of them appearing, but I usually find one once per week. They're kind of a pain to look for since our islands are so freaking big. I tend to just find them as I run around doing my daily tasks and searching for that one villager that I still need to give a gift to who's probably in the museum but I refuse to look there until I've looked everywhere else first because the museum is huge and annoying to look in. <sighs> there are three different types of lost items to find. A book, planner, or pouch. Well, there's technically four because there's like two pouches but they both look the same but they're different. Get to it in a sec. Once you find the item, open your pockets and see if you can investigate it. If you are at least good friends with the villager or friendship level 3, then you'll be able to click the investigate option in your pocket and read the hint as to who it belongs to. The hints are based on the type of lost item you're investigating and the personality of the villager who lost it. You can check sites like Nokopedia to get the full list of hints if you want the answer to who the hints are talking about. If you have multiple of the same personality on your island, then you kinda have to take a guess. The pouch can be two different pouches but both look the same in game, so telling the difference only occurs when investigating the lost item. The developers completely reskinned the lost items from New Leaf, probably to keep up with like the HD-ness of New Horizons. One item that didn't make it over from New Leaf was the mitten. According to Nokopedia, the same mitten, same design, can be found in New Horizons, but the asset is unused. It would have been cool for the mitten to be like added as a lost item during the winter months, I would have loved to find someone's forgotten mitten hiding on the island somewhere in the snow. It would have been cute, but that didn't happen. It makes me wonder if it was just a test item or if they planned on adding it in but just never got around to it. Returning the lost item to the correct villager will grant you a gift in return as well as friendship points. There are two different ways to get friendship points during the lost item quests. The first way is to ask a random villager about the item and have them tell you the exact person to whom it belongs. The other way, if you're an Animal Crossing prodigy, or if you want to just look up the correct answer so you seem like you know your villagers, is to give the item directly to the correct villager before asking anyone. Prodigy Root will get you two extra friendship points. Asking someone first will only get you one extra point. If you have yet to find the lost item, sometimes your villagers will approach you and ask if you can find their item for them, because they're apparently lazy animals who really can't do anything for themselves except some yoga in the plaza. If they approach you first, you'll only get one extra point for delivering the item to them. The lost items must be delivered the same day. If you forget or purposely keep the item in your pocket because you're a rude, rude person, the quest will expire. The name of the item when you hover over it will be what was this again and is now considered trash or a lovely item to decorate your island with. If you're worried about a 5 star island, dropping this on the ground does count against your score, so keep that in mind if you're still working towards a perfect island. Lost items make me miss the GameCube days of fetch quests for your villagers. Back when you had to run back and forth to your neighbors trying to find out who was currently in possession of someone's Pokemon Pikachu. These fetch quests are the one mechanic I keep hoping will return. It helped me get to know my neighbors back in the day, gave me a reason to talk to them, and gave me something to do if I didn't feel like doing my dailies anymore. And it was nice to do quests for them that didn't require delivering a shirt or furniture that now messes up their house. I do like the lost items. They're a cute little extra surprise to happen across while you play. And if you want to steal a couple, they do make a nice decoration. Would you want to see more quests from villagers? How have you used the lost items to decorate your island? Let everyone know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!